Coronaviruses are named for the crown-like or halo-like spikes on their surface, hence the name corona, which has its origin in Latin to mean wreath or crown. These viruses are spherical or round in shape, with an envelope composed of lipid membrane that is coated by spike glycoproteins, envelope and membrane proteins, encapsulating its genetic material inside. In this case, a single-stranded RNA bound structurally by nucleocapsid proteins. But its potential to infect humans starts with these spike glycoproteins, which give these viruses their name, allowing viruses to latch onto human cells, leading to infection. For example, in 2019, a novel coronavirus emerged that we called SARS-CoV-2. The spike glycoproteins on these coronaviruses bind to receptors on the human cell surface called angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, or ACE2 for short. These ACE2 receptors can be found in the human respiratory tract, which explains why SARS-CoV-2 leads to respiratory symptoms like cough and trouble breathing. So when the virus finds these ACE2 receptors, it binds to them and gains entry into these cells. And once inside our cells, viral RNA is released and hijacks our own cellular machinery to create its own structural and functional proteins, which then proceeds to translate and replicate its own genetic material, which then can be used to create components to make more copies of itself. The virus is then released from the host cells, which then go on to infect more and more human cells, and the cycle continues over and over again until our immune system tries to fight and stop the virus. When enough cells are infected, we start to feel symptoms of fever, body aches, cough, and shortness of breath. In fact, we've given a name to these constellation of signs and symptoms, and that's COVID-19, the disease caused by SARS-CoV-2. And even though these terms are often used interchangeably, they don't refer to the same thing. SARS-CoV-2 is the name of the coronavirus, and COVID-19 is the name of the disease when the virus infects humans. This is not the first time coronaviruses have infected humans. Remember the SARS outbreak in 2002? So what makes SARS-CoV-2 so deadly? Like SARS-CoV-1, the coronavirus responsible for the 2002 outbreak, both infect human cells through the ACE2 receptor but SARS-CoV-2 has structural differences in its surface proteins that enable stronger binding to the ACE2 receptor and greater efficiency at invading human cells. But these surface proteins are always changing, and that's because viruses mutate so fast. And so it wouldn't be surprising to see multiple variants of the same virus. In fact, at the time of this recording, there have already been many documented mutations to the SARS-CoV-2 genome, specifically mutations leading to changes in spike protein configurations, giving rise to new coronavirus variants. And so, SARS-CoV-2 is not the first coronavirus to infect humans, nor will it be the last. The good thing is, not all mutations lead to deadlier variants of the virus.